Now let's look at the other configurations we need to do for our company code before we can start doing the postings. So let's come to financial accounting new, financial accounting global settings, ledgers, then we come to fields, assign company code to field status variance. Now the field status variance will be assigned during your general ledger master data creation in that you specify what's your field status and that field status is what controls what type of fields will be hidden, will be display or will be optional or is a mandatory field. Now that field status is controlled by something called a field status variant. Short transaction code for this is OBC5. Let's select that and let's go to our company code and I'm just going to put the default one or the most commonly used one field status variant is 0001. Let's go to mention that and press OK to continue. It's just a simple transaction and let's go back. So next, let's look at the next setting that is fiscal year and posting periods. So we have come to ledger, then after that come to fiscal year and posting periods. We have already assigned company code to a fiscal year variant. Now let's look at the posting periods. So posting periods also you can define a variant and then you assign that variant to the company code. The posting period periods is a variant where you can specify which periods are open and which periods are closed. So let's select create a variant now by clicking on this. We create our own variant. I keep the variant consistent as that domain name. Variant and just save the transaction. Now I'll assign that variant to my company code. Let's go back. Next setup is assign variants to company code. Now you can assign multiple company codes to the same variant. So let me go and select my company code now. And I'll assign my variant which I just created and save the transaction. The next step, I can open and close the posting periods using my variant. I can specify which periods are open, which periods are closed. Next, I'm going to set up the open and closing of the posting periods. So I'm going to select my posting period variant, ZMNM. Now, by the, by the, at the beginning, you'll see this like a configuration menu path. But when you actually go to the live client, make this configuration menu path into an open system. So you can actually use a short transaction code. There's a short transaction code called OB52. And with that, you can open and close the posting periods. That is much easier to maintain. Now, what you can see different from the previous ERP system was earlier, you were only, only able to open and close two intervals. But now you have three intervals. You can see one additional interval has come. Also, Earlier in the ERP 6 version, you have found this authorization group was just behind the two period column. So it would have been over here. And actually this authorization group is where only a certain set of users within this authorization group was able to post within the first period interval. In the ERP 6 version, this was actually on this side and it used to confuse a lot of users thinking that it was actually controlling the second set of intervals. But now SAP after the S4HANA implement version, they have put this over here. So it's a bit more easier for users to understand. This authorization group will control the first interval. And you can actually assign a create authorization group over here. And